So the GT5000 hood, the GT5000 seems to be a little on level. Whoa, wait a minute, where is the front axle? Well, there it is right there in front of me. Um, I think you maybe have heard me talk about the sloppy steering um, and um, I found out, and I'm learning stuff as it comes apart. I thought this was a, these two pieces were part of the same plate and I might have to, you know, bend these together to get some slop out of the ends of the axles. Um, but it turns out a lot of the slop is, you know, this bolt needs to be tighter. Uh, I'm, so I'm going to take this home. I'm going to take these bolts, you know, take the big center bolt out. This is the new replacement part, but this can't, you know, solve the world's problems. It, it, it's going to need some help and assistance, um, from tightening up these ends. So I'll take this apart, see if these are flat by laying them on a, on a flat table. And, uh, if they're, if they're bowed out, I can bend them back to straight. That'll help. But I think the primary problem is um, somehow you can even see now you can see that little shiny piece there if I push it you can see that this whole thing there's just slop in this in this centerpiece and I'm I don't know why that is maybe if that bolt is loose and it can be tightened up and take that slack up that's the fix if it's this thing's job to you know be that big and to make up that space that's i think asking too much of this um this piece and maybe even if those these brackets are flat um and this is going to be allowing the slop i may actually reverse bend these a little bit um just to make these ends tighter and to have them do not not interfere and you know there was grease on here actually on these edges um but basically to guide and keep the axle true, um, both, you know, from twisting and going up and down, I think that would make a lot of difference in the sloppiness because the way it was, uh, it basically, you were holding the steering wheel straight and with all the sloppiness, it would hit a bump and decide where it was going to go. So you tried to draw a straight line across the lawn and, uh, you didn't get a straight line. So trying to discover and improve or, you know, correct where we need to with new parts, but also, um, you know, adjust to reality a little bit. Anyway, that's what I'm doing. That should be the end project for this for the winter. And then this is going to be uh, up for grabs. We'll see what I've got all into it. I mean, this was only 10 bucks, so this isn't a deal breaker, um, you know, when I sell it. But I, you know, it, it, the 54 inch deck, this is just too big for me for here. Um, and the deck's all been redone, new spindles and everything else like that. So there's some money sunk into it, but it's also, um, you know, back to where it really should be as far as uh, the engine, head gaskets, deck and things like that. So anyway, thought it would be interesting to see a tractor without the front end on it. <laughs> Later.